Hey guys, it's Courtney with The Kitchen Garden and I am out here in my winter coat because we've had a little bit of a cold snap and I just want to talk to you about saving seeds from one of my favorite summer flowers, which is the moonflower. And so this was a huge moonflower vine, just a, just a single vine really. Um, this summer, gorgeous white blooms that um, really show up. Uh, in the late afternoon, start opening up about 5 p.m. and then bloom all night into the morning and they are gorgeous. They can be about the size of your hand. They're really large and they're beautiful. And so if you want to grow moonflowers year after year, it's really easy to save the seed. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, so first a little info about growing moonflowers in general. I typically grow them in a container. This particular moonflower is in really a fairly small pot, about 12 inches across, so it doesn't require a lot of space in the pot per se, but it really will spread all over. So this is one vine, and you can tell I had three just old stakes that I used to kind of support it. Ended up flowing onto this gardenia bush, and really kind of taking it over. In fact, I couldn't I couldn't um, trim up this gardenia when I trimmed up the rest because the moonflower had been taken over and I didn't want to cut it. So um, it grew all summer long and into the fall until it started getting um, cool in the evenings and then it stopped. And so I left it so that I could um, dry out the pods. So these little flower pods here are what the seeds are in and I'll show you what it looks like to crack them open. Um, the important thing is that they're really easy to save. You'll end up having a ton so you can share with other people. Um, and they are a perennial, excuse me, an annual, at least in our zone. Maybe if you live somewhere tropical, they might be a perennial, but they're an annual. And um, their seeds are pretty thick. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Um, we typically grow these each year for our Master Gardener plant sale, so they're very easy to grow. Um, they do have to have some kind of a support, and um, they're a real stunner. So they're beautiful if you have, um, you know, supports on your front porch, or a carport or something like that, or a beautiful trellis at the front of your house. These will grow up uh, the side of that uh, with really lush green foliage, and then have these gorgeous big white blooms. So. I'm going to show you how to take apart one of the pods and what you're going to have to do to save them. So let's do it. Okay, to save a moonflower seed, I just take one of the dried pods off of the plant. It kind of looks like it could be a nut. And you can literally hear the seeds shaking inside. Okay, so it's a good test that they're dried and ready. Okay, and then you can literally just crack it open. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, and you see this white seed. It looks almost like a lemon seed. Okay, that is a moonflower seed. And there are typically three to four in each moonflower pod. That's a lot of seeds. My moonflower, I mean, I think easily produced 40 flowers this year. So if I've got 40 pods on there and they each produce three or four seeds, that's a lot. Okay. They are perfectly dried. So all I'm going to have to do is put them in an envelope to save them and I will be ready to plant them next year. Now you um, could just let them fall to the ground and chances are they will uh, they might germinate, um, but what I have found for successive seasons is that I need to take this seed and next year I need to, f to file a little bit of the tip down or take a little knife and nick it uh, to give it a better chance of growing. It's a really hard shelled or thick skinned, I don't know what you call it, seed. Um, so it requires a little bit of assistance to get growing. S so there's your moonflower seeds. So let's harvest a bunch and then let's store them. Here we go. Okay, so I got all my moonflower seeds um, off of the vine that I wanted to save. And now I'm just gonna put them in a plain white envelope 
Uh, it goes in my seed storage container, which I have a whole post about and I'll link that up here. Um, but this is a really great, easy way to save seeds. Um, you can also use glass jars. If you know that your seeds are completely dry and there's um, no moisture at all in them, you can absolutely use that. And if you're ever not sure if a seed is completely dry or not, um, you can always leave them laying out on uh, a paper towel or a clean kitchen cloth until um, you're absolutely positive because you certainly don't want to ever store a seed um, if there's any chance of moisture being in it, it can ruin um, your seeds and that's not going to be super helpful when it comes time to plant. So let's get these put away in an envelope. All right. So I always want to label, and this isn't like a specific variety. So I'm just going to label them noon flower. Okay. And then we're just going to put it inside. Now, if you see some that look a little, like this one right here looks a little bit brown. Maybe there was something going on with that. We might set that to the side. And this one looks like it might have a little damage. So that's okay to pick through. And then there's some pieces of actual shell from those seed pods, so no worries. And this gives you plenty to share. I shared some with my dad last year, and I'll put a picture up here. Here are his moon vines from last year. They were absolutely gorgeous. Um, and they came from the seeds from my plant. So share and share alike, you guys. That's one of the great things about being a gardener. So you just wanna seal it up, put it with the other seeds, and you're ready to go. Hope you guys found this so super helpful, and I can't wait to see you save some moonflower seeds.